Hi, my name is Josh Cohen Collier, and I'm a member of the technical support team here at Clipfolio. Today I'm going to talk a bit about how to select special JSON and XML data source nodes where the name might have a special character, such as a space or a star inside of it. As an example, let's try getting the employment status of one of the employees here, say Josh Cohen Collier. If we just try clicking on it, we're going to have some problems here. And that's because this is one of those special situations where an unusual data structure can cause the default options in Clipfolio some problems. In this case, what the issue is is that there's a space character inside of the name which breaks our XPath. To get around this, we will need to use the name function, which is not to be confused with the KF names function. The name function can only give you one name at a time, while KF names can give you many at once. However, you can use the name function as a condition inside of your XPath which is exactly what we're going to do. So if we want to get the employment status of Josh Cohen Collier, I need to insert a condition using the square brackets and the name function. I'm also going to combine this with the wildcard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click on my XPath to edit it and start off with the star character to grab everything under the employees. Then I'm going to apply a filter here using my square braces. And the filter is going to be that the name which is NAME followed by two parentheses, is equal to the name Josh Cohen Collier, which is going to be inside of quotation marks, either single or double. Once I've done that, I close that up with my closing bracket. And I can see the table now includes the employment status of Josh Cohen Collier. You can use this for any situation where JSON or XML data source has a node with special characters in it that you can't access normally. Well, I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.